Welcome back, everybody, in today's episode. It's going to be the first time all season that we're going to be taking on two FBS schools in one episode. Now, we have to figure some things out because, again, I don't feel like we're going to get all of these guys. There's some pretty high recruits. They're three stars, four stars, and five stars, respectfully. And we got to make sure that we get at least a handful of these guys, but we probably won't get all of these guys. So we're going to have to make a decision about the two tight ends and the two cornerbacks because the guy from Alabama is looking at Auburn and Alabama. Alabama, and he said he wants to go to a school with a high prestige and we don't got that baby we don't got that boy we'll get into that a little bit later in the episode first time taking on temple i think in the history of any of my dynasties they are 0 six we are six and oh get the chain gang off the field so let's run the ball with james cox breaking ankles getting loose to the outside and maybe just maybe our man can have a big time game today second down seven yards ago jonathan k look out the old lineman says as we get smacked from behind third down and 17 rolling left throw it over the middle caught by zeke davenport the speedster from florida makes his first catch of the ball game then on third and four we go backwards Great penetration by that Temple defense. We got to sit up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is going to be good. So we do strike first. Let's see what our defense can do versus Temple. Thomas fakes the run. Throws it downfield. Caught by Hall, and that's going to be a first down for Temple from the 38-yard line in Georgia Southern Territory. And we get in it with some good penetration. My man Bush with the takedown in the backfield. Thomas under pressure. Let's it fly, and that pass is dropped, and our defense does answer the call. So fourth and 14, they're going to punt this thing. We got Will Hill back there, and here's the foolery. It gets tipped, and then I was not controlling him. I was back there, but I did not touch the controller until I hit the fair catch, and then I was like, oh, my gosh, he's actually going after the football. What is going on, Gina? Anyway, 7-3 is the score. K looking downfield. Going to throw that thing to Taylor. Taylor makes the catch. We are continuing to rock and roll on offense. So now we're going to run that thing with James Cox. And James Cox breaking ankles. Still breaking hearts. And he's going to work his way upfield to midfield. Up to the 49-yard line in Temple Territory. So the Eagles continue to run the ball. And we're going to continue to run the ball with success. You fail me. 63 rushing yards there. One. K looking downfield. Still looking, still looking. Throws it along the sideline, deep to the end zone's pick. Man, I believe we had Naismith wide open, and we just didn't throw the ball, and that's going to come back to Hunters because Thomas is loose. Thomas gets upfield, brought down by Sharp Dawkins, and that's going to result in a first down. Then Gray giving everybody the business, including Dawkins for a first down. Then Dawkins gets ran over again, and, and like, like, come on, baby. Second down, two yards to go. They go get that thing to Gray, and the running game is now percolating. I was like, only got one yard rushing to end the first quarter, or oh, this is going to be an easy game. And then they woke up, and I was like, geez, I wish they would stay asleep. Thomas gets into the end zone, touchdown Temple, late in the second quarter, and we find ourselves down by 11, looking for, I don't know what I was doing on that play. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what I was thinking. I couldn't tell you we had Naismith open again down the middle of the field and we do some stupid stuff like that. That pass caught touchdown for the Owls. So yet again, they score. Yet again, we allow some points. We're down by 18 with 35 seconds on the clock. Gonna let that thing fly deep downfield. It's caught by Zeke Davenport. He's different. Second down and 10 for the 28 yard line. Rolling right, throwing it left. Blake Naismith down inside the five. First and goal. We got one timeout left. We don't need that thing because we got Cade in the end zone. So touchdown, Georgia Southern to end the first half. And the Eagles in, you know, Lincoln Financial Field are down by 11 as the away team. Doesn't happen every time, but it happens today. Great, getting loose. Still loose. And he's gone. Got a couple of good blocks. Showed tremendous determination. And he takes that thing all the way to the house. Touchdown, Temple. 28 to 10, the Eagles are down big to the Owls. We see who's the superior bird. He knew that was coming. He knew that was coming. Fourth down and eight. Okay, looking downfield. Still looking. Rolls left. Still, like I had Naismith, and I waited to throw it now, and like, it's just, it's just all kinds of bad. What's happening is bad. This is not good football. That pass caught. And that's going to be a first down as the Owls work their way to the 30-yard line. Second down and six. They run the ball with Gray. And Gray is loose. Spin move, stiff arm, split the defense down to the one yard line. First and goal from the one. Up that got touchdown. 
And there you have it. 35 to 10 is the score. Kane looking downfield. Still looking. Throws that thing in that pass. Caught by Taylor. He, he's weaving through traffic. Serpentine, baby. And we all we find ourselves down inside the 25. For the 23-yard line, Cox to the 20. 15, 10. Can't quite get to the 5, but that's a nice run. First and goal. Kane quick pass to Zeke Davenport. And that's a touchdown, baby. And we find ourselves down 35 to 17. They go up the gut. Fumble, and we can't recover it, and that's going to take us to the fourth quarter of play, down by 18 points, third down and nine, that pass incomplete, and do we have a chance to take over? Not until they kick a field goal, that is going to be right through the uprights, and now we're down by 21. It's okay, we got to do what we got to do. Getting sacked is not on our to-do list, but that's exactly what we done did. So they take over. Thomas has the football. Thomas gets away, gets away again, and he's going to get away one more time. Dive for the goal line. Touchdown, Temple Owls, and it's 45-17. to 17. But we still got some heart out there. We're going to roll right, throw the wheel route, and the wheel route comes through in a major way. Walker crosses the goal line. And then on the ensuing onside kick, we get not a darn thing. But can we get a stop? Can we force a turnover? Can we do something besides give up another touchdown? The answer is no. All we can do is give up touchdowns today. 52 to 24 as we drive down the field inside the red zone. We throw it to Zeke. Beautiful diving catch. And we're down by 21. Again, onside kick again. And they recover it again. And ladies and gentlemen, they will fumble it again. And we will not recover it again. And that's going to do it. 52 to 31 is the final in this one. I believe that was our second time playing the FBS school. I believe the other one was versus, was it Utah? No, it was Nevada. We played Nevada, and we handled Nevada pretty easily. Today was a different animal. Temple definitely has talent, even though they were 0-6 coming into today's contest. We were 6-0. They give us our first loss, and we gave them their first win. Kind of how things work out. So here goes Josh Moss. And you're going to see he gave us a soft verbal. But again, he's looking at Auburn. He's looking at Alabama. Two programs that have higher prestige than us. And he's kind of looking to go to a school with a high prestige. So that could be a little bit worrisome. So we're going to try to get back on our winning ways versus Utah State. As a matter of fact, I took all the points away from Moss, and I'm going to delegate it to another corner because I, I've been in this situation before where we're on the guy's list, we're on top, and then all of a sudden at the last second, there's about 30 NIL deals on the table with another school. And he takes them, and he leaves us high and dry. And the opening kickoff couldn't get no worse. It goes out of bounds. They're going to start their drive up at the 35-yard line. So second down and one from the 44. Dawkins ain't playing around. He needs to play fast and ticked off. Third down and eight. Johnson lets that thing fly. Caught by Moss. And that's going to be a touchdown for the little boss that could. Johnson going to roll right. Johnson, give me that yahoo. Zay. I said, give me that yeah, give me that user interception. And we got this thing going back the other way. We got K getting through traffic. K working himself up to the 20. Down inside the 15. They're looking good, K. They're looking real good. K going to try to run the option. Fumble. But we recover it. Nay Smith, thank you for your service. Second down to go. Can we get to the end zone? No. We get sacked instead. K going to roll to the left side. Still rolling. Gets hit. He loses the ball. And this time we do not recover the fumble, but they do. So Utah State is on the move. Collier weaving through traffic up to the 40-yard line with a fresh set of 10. Now they're in enemy territory. Going to find Williams who makes the catch right there. And that's a chain move. Second down and three. Play fake. They throw it to the left side. That pass caught by Alford. And that's going to be a first down. He is just moving the ball with ease to end the first quarter of play. So first down, 10 yards to go. Johnson looking downfield. That pass caught. And that's just a beautiful route out the backfield. And the touchdown for Utah State. We got to do something, baby. We got to do something. We're going to get sacked. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get sacked. Yes. K going to roll left. Still rolling. Looking downfield. Like, what is going on? Like, I know we're not the talentedest team in the world. And I know that your boy isn't the best on the sticks. But my goodness gracious. So as you can see, as they run the ball through our defense, that Sharp Dawkins is now our impact player on defense. He lays a monster hit. And that's what I need from him. Not going to get it on this one. Yes, I will get a monster hit from him, but it comes after the football player crosses the first down marker with the football in his hands. And now he crosses the goal line. That's a touchdown. And Utah State is up 14 out of 
and we got to score before the half is up. And Kane is like, put the team on my back, put the football in my hands. First down and 10. Looking down through this, Kane throwing it to Taylor, makes the catch loose to the 20. He's gonna get brought down just shy of the 15 yard line, gonna run the option from the 16, fumble. And they're recovering. And what is happening to us? Can we please beat this team on the road? That's a fumble. So that's gonna be a loss of eight. Third down and 18. They go up the gut with McFadden. And McFadden gets brought down before he can get going. And we're gonna take over. Second down, 10 yards to go. K gonna roll left. Still rolling. Looking deep downfield to Nate Smith. First down. We're up to the 30 yard line. K rolls right. Looking. Nate Smith down inside the five. Eight seconds to go in this one. First thing off. K is gonna keep it. Touchdown, Eagles. And we soar high to get back into the ball game. So we're down by seven. Plenty of time to come back. We get the football first. We got Stewart getting upfield to the 35 yard line. First and 10. K gonna roll left. Looking for Zeke Davenport who makes the catch. Spin move. He has all kinds of speed. Gets caught from behind inside the 10. So first and Golden K gets into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown of the day. We're feeling good. We're looking good. And we're playing good. Now stir down the level. They throw it. That pass caught but out of bounds. Well, I think he made the catch in bounds. But quickly goes out of bounds. And that's not going to get you a first down. Nice Smith is open. Let's get back to what we do best. Get the football to our playmaker's hands. K looking downfield. Steps up in the pocket, rolls right, throws it to the back of tight end. And that's the first down for Farmer. We are we're looking good. We're looking good. K to Naismith. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. So we have come back to take the lead for the first time today. 21 to 14, McFadden, the big fullback. Get your fullbacks involved, and that's going to be a first down. Johnson over the middle, caught by McFadden out of the backfield, showing off those hands, and that's going to be a first down. Now they find themselves inside the red zone, and Dawkins continues to be a problem in the middle, laying the lumber. Toss play. We bring him down, and that's going to end the third quarter of play. It's going to be third down and one. They need about three inches. They get that and then some. McFadden inside the 10, first and goal. Now we're starting to go from the two, and that pass is caught by Alfred. And the game was all tied up at 21 off. This is one of the best games of the season. Kay gonna look downfield. Throws it to Walker, and somehow the football got to him. Don't know how, but somehow it did. We get after the James Cox. James Cox to the 40. James Cox about that box, and we get ourselves inside the 30 yard line. Second down and 12 from the 29. Rolling left, stopping, popping. Walker makes the dive and catch him and down to the one yard line. And now K, touchdown one, number three for our quarterback. So 28 21 is now the score. They're going to run that thing with Carly. He's going to get himself upfield, breaks a tackle or two, and finally chop down after he picks up a first down. Johnson slides right, throws it right. Like, take that play out the playbook. That is just awful. Second down and 10, we take over. K looking downfield. Throws it, caught, bobble, drop, and then caught again by Nate Smith. Works his way up there. We have a first down. So we just got to milk this clock. They only have one timeout left. First down and 10. Cox with the carry. Gets some Fumble. Dorsey with the recovery, and now Utah State has a chance. Third down and one, up that gut. And look at that hit by Sharp Dawkins. But after the running back picks up the first down. We can do that on the other side of that orange line, and it will be perfect. Johnson to the left side, intercepted by Mike Jones. Are you going to catch Mike Jones? No, he's loose. Touchdown on the pick six. 65-yard interception return to the hizzy, and that is going to do it, or will it? We want one more pick, baby. One more interception, and now that will do it. We bounce back after the loss of Temple. We are now 7-1, and one, and we are ball eligible because when you're independent and your schedule hasn't been that tough and you don't have a high prestige, just because you win six games does not mean you're going to go to a ball game. They're like, nah, we want teams that are 5 and. Five and six, five and five, five and seven, or whatever it may be, to have good prestige. We want them to come and sell our ball game, not you guys. So seven wins, that guarantees us a ball game. Thank goodness. That's going to do it, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love. Hi, sauce.